In this presentation, we're going to look at logistic regression, and that's from an old data set. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a data set from the library uh, MASS, and the data set we're going to use is called Shuttle. Okay, there it is there. Just type in Shuttle. Uh, I'll just get the tail of Shuttle. Okay, just the last six cases. Um, essentially what we want to do is we're going to fit a regression model and the output the outcome variable the sorry the response variable is going to be use okay and uh, the prediction variable is going to be wind uh, what can help here first off is if I was to get a summary okay so some of that's gone out of shot uh, but essentially what we have here is that there are two levels for the variable wind and at the side there there are um, two levels for uh, the variable use so let's actually just check the question what that says never mind that consider consider modeling the use of the auto lander uh, as the outcome so the variable name is use okay so okay so consider the spaceship uh, spatial data in the mass package and consider modeling the use of the auto lander as the outcome so that is we're going to try and come up with a prediction model for for this particular variable here use okay so we're going to try and predict if if it's going to be auto or not auto no auto based on wind only this time okay so fit a logistic regression model with autoloader use as predicted by wind sign. And the thing is here, auto is going to be uh, coded as 1 and no auto is going to be coded as 0. That essentially means that no auto has to be the first level. Okay, So we don't actually have to recode it, but we actually just have to make sure that no auto is the 0 level. Okay, uh, Let's dig uh, deep dig deeper into that okay so we have a binary uh, factor here auto and no auto so that's a sort of binary factor yes no okay but let's go into it a little bit more oops so the levels okay sorry is factor this is sort of a uh, oops naughty little typo there so it is factor use it's a factor okay so what are the levels uh, you just have to check that first off uh, subtle use uh, shuttle use auto and not auto this is important this is the first uh, level in the ordering okay we need it to be the opposite way no auto has to come first as it stands here this is going to be the 1 and this is going to be the 0 okay or sorry this is going to be the 0 this is going to be 1 we need the opposite way around so what we could do is re-level so re-level shuttle use and what we could do here is put no auto first okay so that would put no auto as the first one and then automatically auto will be the second one okay so let's just have a look at that we just have to make sure that's uh, let's get saved okay so levels of shuttle use there we are no auto and auto so that's the way we want it okay the negative outcome is first. Okay, so now what we could do is fit our binomial uh, logistic regression model. So uh, let's do that. Uh, I'm going to call this fit1, and the command is glm. And what are we doing? We are predicting uh, use by wind. Okay, and what I'm going to do now, or I'll tell you, I'll just leave that as is, shuttle and family equals binomial. Okay, that looks good. And let's have a look at that.
okay. So everything's okay there, really, except I'm looking down here at coefficients, okay, and I have intercept and wind tail. Uh, what does that mean? Okay, so now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go back and see what I could do, what happened there. So I'm going to go to the levels, or right, let's go to the summary, summary of shuttle. Okay, and in particular I'm looking at this uh, uh, factor here. So what we have is head and tail. Okay, now if you recall, so we should have either head or tail. Now let's go back to the summary there. Intercept, wind, tail. I want to have wind head here and wind tail, and I want to get the uh, the coefficients for both separately. So what I'm going to do there is refit my model, and I'm going to take out the intercept term so that I can see head and tail uh, distinctly in my outcome. Okay, let's see did that work. Yep. There it is. Okay. So now I have my coefficients. All I have to do is exponentiate them. Okay. So control L, uh, coefficient of fit one. There we have them there. Okay. So this will get me my odds ratio. Exponentiate them. Coef fit one. Okay. And now I just have to divide one by the other. Hang on a second. What is the question actually? Uh, Give the estimated odds ratio for autoloader use comparing headwind to tailwind. Okay, so uh, I have my uh, exponentiated coefficients and I have to divide one by the other to get my odds ratio. So this is these one these numbers divided. Oops. Uh, not point nine six eight six and so on. Yep. So it's not point nine something like that. There, there's a slightly different ways of doing it. Actually, I have a, a on my my book here. It actually says not point nine six nine one. Doesn't matter. It's close enough anyway. So that is how we would do that one. Um, just as a sort of separate matter, what we could do is actually just, this is a sort of separate matter now, confint of fit 1, there we go, those are the 95% confidence intervals for the, oh yeah, the exponentiation of those. i tell you what, we leave that, it's just a bit of a side thing, just, okay, 